Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some patches. I have so much material and clothes uh, next to me that I have ideas for and so I'm just gonna execute them and I guess kind of make it tutorial-ish. Just describe what I'm doing and it's easy to follow along. Our first um, patient is this green shirt. Uh, this is how big and this is where I want the patch to be. So I'm going to cut my fabric to this size and then I'm going to, um, what the fuck am I gonna do? Then I'm going to make the patch that goes here and sew it on and stuff. Okay, yeah, whatever, I'll just start. The next thing I'm gonna do is put this on this and then uh, cut out just like <gasps> the outline. Okay, so I'm done with the contraption. So I'm going to glue, I don't know, no, I'm gonna paint first, then I will, glue uh, okay so paint time i realized i never told you guys what i was going to paint on the patch and it says garage girl if you are wondering why i have the shirt under my sketchbook it is because i am a dumb dumb dummy and i don't know what i'm doing my fucking shirt anyways the next thing i did was glue the patch i just made to the plaid material and then i just cut it to shape and stuff well this is what it looks like right now i'm going to add little stars and stuff um just a little design and yeah i'll show you at the end just a quick tip that if you're doing this and you make any mistakes you can always go over them with the black fabric paint um to cover up your mistakes as you can see that i did here all right the final patch is done this is what it looks like Oh, this paint is still wet. <laughs> Heck. That's fine. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So now I'm just going to... This segment is just me debating myself on whether I should glue the patch on or sew it on. But... I think I'll glue it. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. So this is what it looks like on. And um, it's a little messy over there. But nothing a little black paint can't fix. I paired it with this skirt. And I think it looks really good. I always forget to rate stuff, but this one time that I remembered, I'm giving this one an 11 out of 10 because it turned out better than I expected. It's like five days later, but um, our second patient is these shorts. My plan with these shorts is to embroider a little spider web thingy. Well, not little, but like a spider web um, on it. And I got this idea from Pinterest. So my plan of action originally was not very successful. I will elaborate later. Okay, I watched a few videos on how to thread an embroidery needle, and um, now I'm scared because I didn't think it was any different from threading a normal needle, but apparently it is, so uh, you'll see. This is the thread that I'm using. I, I got black and this color, and I had the idea of like putting both of them, doing it with black and red, so I'm actually going to do that. I fucking got it. I did it, pals. Actually, I'm not done. Hold on. <laughs> so I finally threaded it and um, I'm using these two colors. So I'm using this black and red together and this is what it looks like on the string. So I'm just going to like embroider it together. And I think it'll look cool. So I'm really excited. My original plan, which was not successful, was to use the drawing of the spider web and trace over it with the thread. But that was difficult and I do not recommend doing that. I ended up just freehanding the spider web, which was way easier in my opinion. One thing for this method is you have to know how to draw a spider web, obviously, but it's pretty easy to um, draw and there's a lot of tutorials. I learned how to draw a spider web on Pinterest in like 10 seconds. It's, it's really easy. Also, if you are new to embroidery slash sewing like I am, um, I recommend watching a couple of videos before attempting like embroidery and these are the ones that i watched and without them i would not have been able to do this i will also link them in the description so please check them out for the results this is what it ended up looking like i really like it i'm very happy with it uh my first time embroidering embroidering it was good a uh, big success i love it i think it looks amazing i was thinking about putting something else on this side to balance it out um, but that will be for a later video. So moving on to the next and the last one. It is past midnight of a different day and I decided to film the last part of this video. Our third and last patient is this sweater. So I plan to make elbow patches for this sweater. 
I've been sketching all night and I made some designs and I've been feeling inspired by them so I'm gonna try and make them. First of all I will mark where I want the elbow patches to be. Next I take a circular object and outline a circle onto the fabric and just cut it out. So I'm done. This is what size they are. I hope they're big enough. I'm proceeding so this is the fabric paint that I use. I got the idea to make elbow patches from Rabbit's YouTube channel. Their channel name is Ratus Ratus. That's how I say it. I'm not sure if that's how you actually pronounce it. Um, you should definitely check out their channel. Uh, very awesome DIY ideas and stuff and also some cool doll content if you're interested and other things too. Alright, so it is now 1.37 and I finally finished painting the patches. And this is what they both look like. And now it's time to sew, so I will be using this embroidery needle and dental floss. And I didn't really get good footage of me sewing, but you get it. Just sew it on. Alright, I am done, and this is what they look like. I really like them. I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. It feels really good to have made these. And just go. <laughs> Anyways, that concludes this video. Thank you for DIYing with me. I'm really happy with all the stuff I did. I had a great time. It was very fun. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more embroidery and I will obviously bring you guys along. If you made it this far, thank you very much. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it very much. I also have a part one and two of DIY with me, so check it out if you're interested. If you want to see more of me, I have Instagram and it will be linked in my description so yeah follow me on there uh dm me if you like but yeah i will see you in the next one bye